Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Lord Ann. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, whether I'm talking about the movies, programming, whatever the case may be. So I just figured for this time around, since I did a video talking about the merchandising, I'd do it again. So um, I would like to make more of these when I do have the chance course and um but yeah anyway for this video i figure i would review something from the i know a lot of people are familiar with the movies incredibles one and two so for this video i want to focus on a specific character uh named violet uh, the daughter of the superhero characters of course so the, um and yeah uh which in itself sounds cool because hey, super something superhero related. That's awesome. And um, uh, but uh not in this case though. Uh boy. And in for a treat. Yeah, it's this little figure in here, folks. Yeah, the Incredibles from Pixar and Disney. It's yeah, it's really tiny. Really small. And um, yeah, of course. And the thing is that there's like a little stand. Thing that it has right here folks if you choose to take out it out from his little box the company that made this toy i did look into it and it just seemed like they had something to do with target i guess because they make these little toys or whatever so um yeah and that's the thing folks i just want to make sure where this came from of course and it looks like the company that made this is actually a legit company and not one of those off-brand stuff or anything so yeah, you can say that this is an official release toy. So not one of those knockoffs, bootlegs, want to call them. And Mr. Monkey, how many times I have to tell you, no, I'm not gonna buy you crap. <laughs> Try to relax your anus. I've bought this toy when I went to the dollar store, and not just that, I actually went to get some. Uh, movies I can review eventually, like some of the crap horror movies I've I've um I have on my to do list. By the way, so anyway, moreover, yeah, this is what I'm gonna talk about. So uh, yeah, you have the colors right here from the character, and you can see obviously tell it's her, but yeah, there's not a whole lot of detail really, like at all. And um, so yeah, of course we're gonna have the mask there, of course, and um. So I don't I don't like the overall design really. It looks like there's not much effort placed her. I mean it's enough effort. You see the logo there from the movies. So you can tell it's it's her. So I, I'm guessing it's supposed to be based upon the first film, I suppose. I, I guess. But yeah. I guess it's enough for you to reckon, recognize that it's for it's that character. Just not like there's not enough um detail really. It's enough detail. You see the logo. From the one company I just mentioned earlier, folks. So there's that, obviously. Stop bothering me, really. What is your problem? So yeah, folks. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of plain, really. I like to make this rather fast, and yeah, I like didn't really care. No, well, at least not much care anyway. Mister Monkey, what are you doing outside? Well, you have some issues to work out. You know that. So, yes, yeah, so the toy itself is pretty lightweight, and it was cheaply made, it was mass-produced. Yeah, it's one of those kinds of things. And, and if these toys from that company, if they're going to make any other toy and release it to a, a different store, those would be better made. But compared to the toys that will be placed specifically for the, for the dollar store, of course, those are going to be a lot more cheaper, a lot more cheaper. Of course, you can, you know, think about the material it was made from. And that's because they have to get the money back. Of course, uh, they have to get the money back, obviously. So, uh, so if they make it cheap and fast as possible, you're not really risking too much when you think about it. So, yeah, it was that. And, um. Uh, how's the phrase goes? Quantity over quality, I guess. That's the way to say it. Uh, that's, that's the best way I can describe this. So, 
Yeah, there was that. Oh yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea of what I can do to the, for this toy. All right, let's take care of this mess. All right, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here's underneath this. Here we go. Found it. Found it. Work. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it works. Good. And uh, Mr. Monkey, really? Ah. Uh, okay. Here we go. I got some for you. Ha ha. That was a pair of shoes, in case you were wondering what I threw at him. Yeah, looks like I knocked him out good for a while. Anyway, okay, let's just wrap things up, shall we? Ugh. Alright, maybe next time I'll just go to a, one of the other stores. I like a Walmart or Kmart or something, I don't know. I know they, some place would sell... Disney toys, and, and I'll just get the better quality stuff from a different place. Not that I was expecting much anyway, of course. So, here, here we go. Yeah, this, this was not a good toy. Not, nothing was bendable, by the way, at all. So, there you go. Alright, guess I'll throw that trash away later, I guess. Yeah, the toy itself is pretty stiff. Really stiff. Ugh. Well, since they didn't care, why should I? Anyway, that'll be it. I'll give the toy an overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later. Oh boy.